drone for a moment, I originally thought, yeah, he'll eventually run out. And then I looked over and saw the drone and I had a feeling that, uh, I'll be here for a few minutes.
Okay, you don't need it. <laughs> nah, that should be good. You sure? Yeah. All right. Oh. For a moment, I originally thought, yeah, he'll eventually run out. And then I looked over and saw the drum, and I had a feeling that, uh, I'll be here for a few minutes. Yeah, it became a workout. I could imagine so. Is it fully loaded? Huh? Is it fully loaded? God damn, it must be heavy. Today, we shot my American Tactical AR-15, 16 and a half inch barrel versus a IWI, uh, that's uh, Israel Weapon Industries, uh, Tabor X-95, uh, bullpup uh, rifle. I thought I was gonna like it. Uh, like I like my Panzer. I had a, a Panzer BP-12 shotgun. It's a bullpup semi-automatic shotgun. It's magazine fed. I like it. Um, it doesn't kick as much as my pump action, uh, especially with that 12 gauge. It's still got an 18, 18 inch barrel, 18 and a half inch barrel, but it's into the frame of the gun, so it, it absorbs it. So I'm thinking I was gonna have the same kind of uh, reaction with the with the AR. Um, shoot, cause I shoot uh, five, five, six, in both my AR and the, um, the Tabor. Uh, the Tabor comes in different calibers too. It comes in a three hundred blackout, comes in a nine mil, but I'm shooting five, five, six. Uh, the recoil is about the same. Uh, the it's, it's a cool gun to shoot, but it's just like it's hard to switch platforms on one of that. Like I can switch from my AR to my three hundred blackout to. Um, my new AK, um, and it's all pretty similar. That Tabor is completely different. I don't know if it's because it's rarely made or, or what, but um, you know, it's got the charger handle on the left of the gun here. Of course, this bullpup, so the magazine well is behind the, the hand grip. Um, what's crazy is that the slide release is behind the mag well, so. Instead of 
charging and it's actually pulling the slide back um, to lock it, it doesn't lock that way. You got to tap back here to lock it. Um, so once you load up, you tap it here and um, lock it. It's got an ambidextrous uh, mag release, you know, similar. It's close to the trigger, just like on a, uh, a regular AR. Um, but with the charger handle being on the left, I don't know how it works having it on having the mag release on the left. It, it's um, it's even worth doing, but um, that's how it is. Uh, I shot the table with the hollow sun uh, red dot on it. Um, use my I don't even know what this is, man. It's a uh, Pentini. Uh, Sight and grouping pretty much the same. Uh, this sight not zero, it, uh, it was a little off to the right, but that's an easy fix. I just adjust it, zero it, and guess what? It's gonna do the same thing that Hollow Sun sight does. So, I'm gonna start doing these verses. And so, anything y'all want to see uh, me go ahead up with, I'll do it. I'll do um, verses I, if I can get other shooters to do comparisons or if I just shoot them. Um, however, however we get it done, but we'll get it done. We'll do some, do a couple more versus uh, guns. Uh, but all in all, I'm gonna stay with my American Tactical. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, recoil being the same as the Tabor with the bullpup. Um, another problem with the Tabor, so, Couple magazine, they they go together. They couple. Uh, they empty also. Safe, safe, safe. Action open. Safety on. Safety on. So yeah. So the couple magazine, they can go right in there, pop it out, go right back to work. Right back. To work, right back to work. Um on the table, can't do that. It can go, on the video you can see, it goes in one way, but the way the mag well pokes out, it won't let you do it on the other side. Same thing with uh, the 100 round drum. Uh, can't do it. Maybe my 60 round drum, because it doesn't, you don't have a drum on each side, it's just one drum that hangs low, maybe something like that will work. Didn't bring that to the range, so didn't get to test it. Maybe I'll test it another time. Or maybe somebody knows if uh, a drum, you know, just for all the drum lovers out there. Speaking of, after I went 30, 30, 30 for 30, I ran 100 rounds through my trash ass American tactical, cheap ass rifle. 100 rounds, no problem. Barrel's hot as fuck. But 100 rounds, no problem. That ain't the first time I did that either, so. It's, it's a good gun, man. It holds up. Um, but yeah, I gotta clean this thing now. There's so much, so much going on. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to cleaning. I appreciate everybody for checking in with me. Um, you know, just comment. You know, if you want to see me shoot something else or whatever. Um, like, subscribe. I appreciate all of it. But thank y'all. I'm out.